Hello everybody and welcome back to another last episode. This is season 2, episode 14, one of them. He left two hours ago for, for, for Hila. Your English is good, Abdul. But you're lying. And that ain't so good. That is right. I like Saeed better with long hair. Welcome His to her. curls are so cute. <laughs> See? His curls are so cute. They're getting along now. See, Saeed is such a such an awesome man. Go back. French lady? Trust me. I'm the, the doctor. Last time we met. It's for trust. And Pixie Dust. He's gonna take over the hatch, isn't he? Unbelievable. There are two beds there. What, we ain't friends anymore? No, honey, since you grabbed the guns and self-proclaimed the new sheriff or whatever. <laughs> this is a freaking jungle. I'm pretty sure there are more than one. Yeah, well, you got a spot of nothing on your chin there. <laughs> what? He's one of them. I trust. This bitch. She's been there for 16 years. I'm going come to come on. Come on. Don't. And you trusted him. I mean, it's your own fault, Saeed, for cutting him off of that tree. This man is on you. <laughs> And again, 16 years. She is one of them. She knows the island. She knows the crew. You should take him to your doctor. Please. It's fucked up. Showing him that. Loyalty. I know it's for a purpose. To get it's him to virtual. do something, but... But I'm questioning loyalty. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. Oh, the arrow is still there. Four months ago, we crashed, my wife and I. Crashed in what? A balloon. We were trying to cross the Pacific. In a balloon. If for a scary movie, I'd be with a hot chick, not you, Barbara. <laughs> Wait a minute, and you're a Latino. Yeah. You really? Up, you got that first? The disorder is going to be the new lead item on a That's the order. In scary Bye. movies, either black or Latinos die. Damn it! I think he's pretty convincing. In a balloon, John? Yes, he is. In a balloon. Looking for someone to punish? Why would I need to punish anyone? He's not you, John. He knows how to handle his anger. I want to find out who he is. I want the truth. A balloon. I think we both know the <laughs> He may as well just say he was flying so how long, John? in a freaking Pegasus and crashed. It's a combination. Come just on, ask believable. Please. Don't be too nice, Jack. Okay. With everything they've been through. For now. If he is an other, he must know a way out of there. So that's not gonna keep him there for long, I guess. Hey! Hey! What the hell are you doing? What needs to be done? What he does best. Which is sad, but I mean he's good at it. <laughs> he will torture you. Look at his face. I'm here. I'm getting information. Is he alive? What if he's telling the truth, John? He's not telling a balloon, Jack! What if he's not? Nobody in their right minds will, will cross yeah. a freaking ocean in a freaking balloon! Unless they want to die! 
What if there is like like some lightning and storm or something? Of course they were gonna crash. That's a lie. A balloon. I, 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 I'm not buying that shit. You said you've been here for four months. He looks pretty clean. What? You got sick. It started as a fever. After two days, she was delirious. Then she died. I'm not buying this shit. <laughs> so it's like, I'm gonna start torturing you if you don't. I don't know why you're asking me all these questions. I don't know why you're treating me this way. Why I have to explain to you who I am. Mm, mm, mm. You don't tell me who you are. Another thing. When the Americans came to my country. Another thing. He's been there for four a, months and he hasn't seen an other or the and when they, White Walkers. I don't know what the fuck they are. The zombies. For the next six years. Bullshit. And I am a torturer. That's, that's bullshit. It's so bullshit. Four months and, you know, happily living Where with the wifey? I don't think so. I do not think so. Guys, this is a freaking jungle. I'm sure there are more than one. Ran off when I was ten. Ran off? Well, that's what mom said. <laughs> There's an honor. Ew! They taste just like chicken. Ask no malicion. Again, a freaking jungle. I'm sure there are more. Lucy, shut, shut up. With everything they've been through, I can't believe. You would still think that this guy is telling the truth. Uh. Give me your hand. You would remember what it felt like to place. A body inside. Oh my god, you so you, you're making this personal, don't. You would remember. What happened to her? No, don't even. Don't even. He's gonna cut off your fingers. Tell me no, no. I mean, he would remember, right? No, no. <laughs> what if? I want you to tell me the truth. Open the door. He takes them to where the wife is. Go on and check. Oh, There's no life the there. Button. Open the door. It's under a minute now, John. You better think fast. It's gonna go down to zero. Okay, something is happening. She's lying. Not like this. What? Tell you whatever you want. Like it went down She's to lying. zero. She's lying. No. Then how do you know? Because Rousseau's been there for sixteen motherfucking years. I think she knows I think the truth. Rousseau thought about you. I will never do that again. Mm. Never say never. Charlie, you're a traitor. There is a man down in the hatch. That you were strung up by your neck and left for dead. That Claire was taken and kept for days during which God only knows what happened to her. Mm -hmm. That these... But it was Rousseau, the one that kept Claire, though, right? Seriously, though, did they forget? Seriously, though, did they forget everything that happened? That they almost killed Charlie? That they took Walt? That they, they shot Sawyer? That they sank the... Forgot the name of that thing, the raft. All that, all that's been happening. Are they forgetting that? How can you trust some stranger that you found in the woods that says he crashed in a balloon? Listen, no matter how rich you are, you're not gonna fly in a balloon. It, not overseas. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. It's something like out of a movie. Nobody would do that. I'm pretty sure. Rich people appreciate their life the most because they're rich, they have it good. 
They love their lives. They're not gonna risk it flying overseas in a balloon. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. And as always, I'm Sara Miano, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan. I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand. Don't